on a point. Is the child of Quran? Sanskar is the chat open for all right now? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Uh, Amol might be yes. Like, hi everyone. Hi Deva. Hi Danish. Everyone is posting hello in the chat. Why don't we all just uh, say hi to each other before we begin? We are going to be starting in just a few minutes. We'll ask a few people to join in. I know it's already five, but we'll uh, give it two or three minutes. All right, we're live on uh, YouTube as well. Hi everyone, why don't you all leave a hi in the chat so that I know that everyone is pretty excited for the session. I know I am. We've got uh, Devang, Danish, Chayesh, Ziyad. Hi guys. I'll put a uh, hey here as well. Hey everyone. So far, we just wait a couple of more minutes. Is everyone excited for the session? How many of you are excited for the session? Like, what are you, what are you thinking? What will happen over here today? What kind of questions do you have? We'll have a few in a right, a few in a round uh, later as well. I'll uh, go through the whole timeline before we start. But even before that, what are some of the, what are some of the questions that you guys have? What is the question that's been bothering you, uh, bothering you a lot? I'm uh, stuttering. Mm. Is that a sign of panic? I don't know. No, it's not a sign of panic. I'm excited for the session. That's all about it. What are the opportunities? Mm, got it. How to grab opportunity? Sure, sure, sure. We'll cover all of that today. Others? We've got 21 people. Awesome. We've got 21 people. 22. We're growing too fast. Guys, put your questions over here. I'm going to ask you to put your questions over here later as well. Properly, we'll have like a proper timeline. Hmm. So, I'm some people are saying that the links are not working. Sure. 
Yes, yeah. I'm looking into it, and the cool. people who have already joined, can you guys just uh, send a message saying that the link is working because uh, you guys have already joined us. Uh, I think the link is actually working. They might be having some issues. So people are asking for the YouTube link in the group, in the WhatsApp. Yes. Uh, the is the links are working. Yeah, the links are working. How about we do a round check? How's everyone feeling? Let's just describe our uh, mood in three words, okay? Right now, I'm feeling excited, happy, and uh, a little thirsty. Thank you, everyone. I'm gonna drink water. Why don't you all give me a, like a heads up? How are you feeling in three words? I'm feeling excited, happy, and thirsty. Jayesh is excited. <coughs> Come on everyone, just uh, put your thoughts in the comment box, in the chat. It'll be fun. It's 5 or 5 already. Wait for just a few more people to hop in. All right. Come on, guys. Type it in the chat box. How are y'all feeling? We're gonna start just in a bit. Don't worry about it. We're gonna start in just a bit. Hmm. How are y'all feeling? Just put down three words. Right now, I was feeling uh, excited, happy, and thirsty. I'm not thirsty anymore. I had my water. Let's get over here. Honey is like I'm very excited. That's why I'm here. So I'm feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Good yeah. afternoon, say. Oh, I, I could not be chat. Sorry? Why I could not chat? Uh, In the no, chat no. box, I can find. In the chat box, why I could not be send the message? Not able to send the message. Yeah, and more, maybe you want to look, look into that. Have we blocked the I chats? For the because in that particular chat box, it is written you are no longer participant. That is weird. And more Sanskar, they all uh, take care of it at the back end. Jay says he's uh, excited, curious, and how due to the weather. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, we have checked everything. Uh, Amol, can you get back on that? Hello. Could you listen me? Yes, sir, we can uh, hear you, Mr. Sri. Hello? Could you listen me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we can hear you. What is the query? Could you listen me? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I could not write the message in the chat box, please. 
Sir, maybe you have joined as a guest and maybe okay. because of that you cannot uh, Hello? message on the Thanks, chat box. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I could not write the message that that box, please. What happened? What happened? Someone's a bit happy with the, where their bed is resting. Sanskar and Anmol, can you view the chart? Not the chart, actually, the YouTube piece. Okay. Can you take away the mute and mute rights from people? Yeah. Yeah. Amol, can you uh, make okay, a okay. mute? Yeah. 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 All right, can you mute everyone? Amol, can you make sure everyone is muted? Sure. All right then, let's start the session, okay? Sanskar and Mohan? Are we ready? Yeah, yeah. Hello. All right, I hope my screen is visible over here. Yes, it is visible. All right, perfect. So welcome everyone. Welcome to the EDV workshop uh, brought to you by Green Academy in collaboration with ISI in India. Uh, in this workshop, we'll simply tell you how to get industry ready and land a job in top automobile companies. Alright, let's move on. We are here to help you take your journey in the EV industry to the next level. Through our collaboration, through both of these companies' collaboration, we're going to help you take your journey in the EV industry to the next level. And how are we going to do that? It's something we are going to explore. Now, before I move on, I just want to tell you about a bit of timeline that we're going to follow, okay? First, I'm going to tell you about, um, I'm going to walk you through what we do, what uh, Green Academy does, how ISI does. Then I'm going to introduce you to the trainer. Then he will hold the workshop, he has his EPT ready, and at the end, I have a surprise for you. So for all the people who will stick till the end of this workshop, you have a surprise, and it's a big surprise. I'm not going to simply send you like a free ebook or something like that. It's going to save you a lot of money. So stick till the end. All right. Here is how the workshop will help you. If you're a student, then we'll help you land a job. But if you are a professional, then we'll help you upskill to advance in your career. Yes, you're going to learn how to do that in this workshop. The main aim of the webinar is to one, help you understand uh, that the e help you understand the EV industry and help you carve out a space for yourself in the sector. Second, answer any questions you have regarding opportunities in the sector. Third, introduce you to an EV course to kickstart your journey in the EV space. But if you are a professional, we do have another course for you. Now I'm going to tell you who are we and what makes us credible. Green Academy is a product by Losu. Losu is a company uh, which is driving its motive to make the world a carbon neutral place by 2050. Low Green Academy being a daughter company is mainly focused towards building a net zero world where we collaborate with more and more people to make them aware, to help the young population understand about the harms of climate change, about how they can adopt sustainability in their daily life. So Green Academy partners with a lot of professionals and students to host webinars, sell courses and hold workshops. 
spread this kind of awareness. Now, talking about ISIE India, ISIE India is ISIE India is one of the biggest skill-based platforms which help you upskill your journey in whatever courses that they are selling. It's one of the most practical-based courses out there, most reputed by the industry, especially in the EVs. As you can see, Green Academy is basically building a net zero workforce and ISIE India is India's best and most reputed educators in the EV space in India. Let's move on. Now, here is the data which proves why you should trust us. We have more than 1 lakh plus registered learners, 100 plus hiring partners, 60% average salary hike, 300% salary hike, and most of all, here is the proof of work. Here are the companies that our alumni work at. These are Hero Electric, Bosch, Ola, Nissan, Amazon, Mahindra, KPMG, even companies like Avon Cycles, a lot of big firms are the places where our, where our alumni work at. This is why you should trust us. This is the proof of work. No one can no one can generate these numbers or take these numbers. Let's move on. Enough about us, enough about the company, enough about the pseudo selling of the courses. Let's welcome the man of the hour. His name is Shivam Singh Tomar, and he will be the trainer for today's workshop. Here's a bit about Shivam. He's an EV engineer by profession and a trainer by passion. He has worked as a project engineer for three years, has mentored students, mentored students in the national level vehicle design and championships. With over six plus years of experience in KTR, V5, he has mastered tools such as SolidWorks, ADEMS, Simulink, and MATLAB. He's all set to share insights from his experience in the EV sector and help students crack their entry into the EV industry. Basically, Shivam is a go-to person to get answers to all your EV related questions. Shivam, I welcome you. Please take on the stage. Let's begin. Uh, thank you, others, for the warm welcome. I hope everyone is doing good. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. So, guys, how you are feeling? about the course, about the EV that we are going to talk about. Uh, you can write in the chat, right? Uh, directly going for, the, going, going for the, if it is, let's have a small discussion. Then it's better that uh, we can connect and help each other, like understanding the EV market, uh, what is the opportunity, how you can, can enter into the market. So these are the general questions or general kind of things that most of the engineering students or uh, uh, professionals around the industry uh, having these kind of general questions that generally comes in mind, right? Guys, yes, no, maybe. Okay, uh, so if we talk about the EV, so everybody knows that the world is shifting after the uh, after 2008 when the Tesla launches the roadster model right after that every industry shown their interest into the EV uh, domain before that everyone was looking into the petrol and alternate uh, fuels uh, fuels for the transportation that they better we can say right so how many of you know that uh, the first uh, electric vehicle was launched by the Tesla or we can say the first successful electric vehicle with the the speed of more than 350 km per hour was launched by the Okay, I, I think everyone is aware of the Tesla, na? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, yeah, like after the Tesla's launch, after the Tesla launched the uh, Roadster, every uh, Industry not on not in not in India but also uh, like in the foreign countries they started craving for the EVs and look into the new opportunities that EV have. Without surprise, without any surprise, if I tell you that uh, how many things of you think that uh, 
<laughs> how much old EV is that EV technologies or electric vehicle technology is? Any guesses? Two thousand six. Okay. Any other guesses? Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's I can say that it's beyond your thinking or yeah. imaginations. Yeah. Uh, by the way, in the chat, uh, this RK have guessed almost similar to that. Uh, almost guessed almost the right answer. That is more than hundred years. Right. Uh, so how many of you are aware about the industrial revolution? Uh, like industrial revolution one, industrial revolution two. Guys, uh, any updates? Like, uh, have you are you aware of about the industry 4.0? It brings a new phase of living in the industrial market. Okay. Uh, so the development of history, we can say better. We can better. We can say that it was more than a hundred years of, or we can say more than 150 years of year. Uh, the first electric vehicle was launched during the 1898, and uh, but due to some political and uh, geographical or climatic uh, geographical changes and battery packs were not that much efficient at that time. So electric vehicle, even the electrical vehicle was having a golden era uh, prior to this. Can you imagine? That electric vehicle was having an old uh, golden era. That's also a uh, hundred years back. Till 1924, electric vehicles was having a golden era. Uh, after that, uh, this petrol vehicles and that uh, this other internal combustion engine vehicles come into the, uh, you can say, growth. So that's about a bit. I can just to give it a basic idea where where it is completely connects. And today, the technology that we are seeing. Uh, is more related to the advancement that we have reached during this during these years, right? So I hope that added some new in uh, some new information in your uh, knowledge, right? So uh, let's start with uh, others. Can you just move on to the next slide? So let's start with uh, uh, what we are, what ISI India is. So better say that ISI India is already working in uh, scaling, rescaling, and up scaling of the not only the sprint, but also the professionals from industry, uh, professionals from academics, and uh, whoever is wanting to switch their careers into the EV. So uh, ISI India is already working uh, in this domain from the past nine to eight years. Okay. So we have all going to also organize so many national level or uh, international level championships or kind of uh, we can say that image you get already showing you the electric bike championships, electric go kart championships, solar vehicle championships, even the hybrid vehicle championships that nobody nobody even imagined at that time during the 2013, 14, 16, 17. During those years, we were already working upon these things, and we have not only uh, doing this work consistently but we were also training uh, the thousands of students every day, every week. We were connecting with thousands of people, thousands of students uh, who want who want to just come into like uh, make some get some uh, information about the things. So that's how we were working in the past, and today we are again coming with up some uh, advanced advanced. Uh, Things that we are uh, helping out the students or the professionals, whether you are working in any uh, industry or you want to switch your career into the EV, right? Or you are uh, you are just a student or generally a mechanical or poor uh, civil students or any person who is want to just uh, make a career into the. EV. So we are helping them to build a career. What is the what is the right way to enter it? So we are we are looking up all these things. Thank you. So uh, let's move on to the next slide. So here uh, is one example that you can see the kind of uh, vehicles that we see uh, having the kind of uh, the having the carbon potential or we can say the carbon rating. So you will see the internal combustion engines can the normal we can say the normal vehicles that were yearly used. Uh, were not that much efficient to reduce the uh, carbon content that was coming out from the exhaust of the vehicles, right? But uh, uh, as the technology keeps on improving, 
we were certainly able to reduce some of the carbon uh, carbon content from the exhaust of the internal combustion engines by using the mufflers or making some kind of other advancement into the intake of the engines i hope you guys are familiar with these things right the intake of the engine the carburetor the uh, and the uh, your silencer or we can say the mufflers that are used right so there were some research and advancements were done so that we can reduce uh, any kind of uh, 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 carbon content that are coming from the electric uh, sorry that coming out from the carbon or uh, of this uh, petrol vehicles or internal combustion vehicles so lots of research were done and even you see uh, even today the ps6 engines were launched like the vehicles that are launched in the market are from what ps6 which is again reducing the carbon content of the vehicles but if we talk about the uh, resources that are efficiently able to reduce the carbon content so that is somewhere you will see the hydrogen is on the top the hydrogen vehicle is the you will see the, the exhaust or the kind of output coming from the exhaust is completely the water right so that is the completely mechanism that how uh, hydrogen hydrogen is used to fuel the uh, vehicles which is again a kind of a type of electric vehicles right and the output that is coming from the uh, exhaust is the water second option that we are mostly discussing today is the electric vehicles again electric vehicles have different different segments uh, hybrid electric vehicles micro macro or fully electric vehicles so they are different different categories that are uh, segmented into the in case of electric vehicles also but still electric vehicles are not able to 100 percently uh, pure battery electric vehicles are able to reduce the uh, carbon content but still uh, it is said that if you guys are familiar with that uh, popular quotation that uh, if the energy is produced from the coal then that it is then it is fueling the electric vehicles then it is electric vehicles are only then the electric vehicles are much more uh, dangerous than the uh, this internal combustion vehicles but if the renewable source of energy is used as fuel into the electric seat electric vehicles by fuel means powering the batteries or charging the batteries getting this okay so another kind of uh, vehicles that we generally see is the hybrid vehicle that you might have seen about uh, you might have noticed uh, uh, this uh, uh, some of the vehicles that are already in the market that are coming into the hybrid mode that is fuel plus electrics BMW i3 is a model of i uh, like hybrid electric vehicle BMW i8 so these are the famous that for everyone knows okay hum car ki baat kar raha hu uh any question guys okay so let's move on to the next right so uh the same thing that questions comes in every person's mind that uh, internal combustion vehicles are already doing good into the market then why do we need that what is the major factor that attracts ev right so if in today's condition if we see that uh, the people are buying the normal that uh, ic engine car then you will be able to the minimum price that you can afford is like uh, 4 lakh to 5 lakhs you can get a uh, decent i uh, internal combustion vehicle four wheeler right but if you see in the long run right if you calculate how much money you are spending on the service maintenance fuel and everything so in the long term if you see then you are spending more than uh, the twice of the uh, twice of the money that you have spent or uh, that you have used for the purchasing the vehicle but if we if we talk about in case of electric vehicles so in case of electric vehicles the batteries are used right they have very less number of component in their assembly train or assembly line just like uh, the uh, the normal people have the thousands of component only in the engine itself like then comes the clutch arrangement and the transmission and all those things so in case of uh, electric vehicles these kinds of uh, problems are generally not seen because the assembly is very simple then reliability and flex uh, if first thing is that reliability and flexibility electric cars but less maintenance once you purchase the electric vehicle you will surprise to know that uh, you will be on, you will only go for the service once you your car your brake bushes are damaged or uh, brake bushes are uh, 
life has uh, life has gone so only then you will be able to go for the maintenance otherwise there is no such maintenance required in case of electric vehicles so that means savings right savings on petrol savings on maintenance right i think adarsh is uh, already familiar with uh, this thing how to how much money is spent on this uh, maintaining the car right that's also in noida and delhi region totally 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 so again uh, the thing is that the growing in protection so uh, once you will be able to Uh, once you are able to uh, uh, like purchase uh, once you will have uh, electric vehicles you can easily in you in the coming time you will see that you will be able to charge the electric vehicles or two wheeler generally you will be able to charge them in the in the in your house itself right and uh, like this thing is currently into the like one of one thing related to that i can say that which is currently in research or we can say it is in currently into the initial phase that uh, after a certain period of time your vehicle or your the batteries inside your vehicle will work as a inverter for your house also that first you charge the vehicle and again after that if you have if you are not going anywhere for long and uh, then you can use that energy stored into the electric vehicle or as a inverter for your home or to power your home right so these kind of things are already uh, research is going on somebody has written okay uh others just have a look into the chat box also if anybody has been questions right okay so let's talk about the what is the the, the market rate or the by which percentage the market yes 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 sorry to interrupt i just wanted to tell everyone that you guys uh, will have a q and a round at the end So please write down your questions in your phone or on a piece of paper somewhere. Uh, Shem will answer it at the end. <laughs> Not right now. Cool. So you may continue. Sorry. Thank you. So, uh, so let's have a look into the growth or the kind of market rate at which the electric vehicles are going. Growing our market is growing in India. Let's move. So here you will see some of the data, right? Uh, if we talk about the Evaluation of the electric vehicle market. That's also in. That's all the only in India was expected around five billions in 2020, and uh, you will see that somewhere it is expected to grow up to 47 billion by 2026. Average CGR of more than 44 percent. That means every year it is growing by 44 percent, right? And if we talk about uh, government, is still taking some of the like the uh, police government is also making some of the changes in the policies to help you purchase the electric vehicle if i talk about the uh, subsidies we generally see the subsidies so central government is providing uh, a different kind of subsidy and again the uh, your uh, state government is further providing you subsidy for purchasing an electric vehicle that is suppose if you if the cost of any product is 100 rupees and government is providing some kind of uh, subsidy like say 5 to 10 rupees and uh, the generally it is more okay i am just giving you an example okay the government is providing 5 to 10 rupees of subsidy and uh, the state government is further providing you 3 to 5 rupees of subsidy so if the cost of the vehicle is around uh, of the product is 100 rupees then you will be able to purchase it and around 85 so that kind of uh, initiatives are taken by the government by providing the subsidies on electric vehicle again uh, you will see uh, experiments are done on ego mildi uh, like if you might have known uh, some of you might have gone through this uh, uh, this i think it is uh, where the statue of unity is made uh, right sardar vallabhbhai patel's statue is located so in that region you will see that uh, government is strictly promoting the complete electric vehicle transportation no and no uh, this petrol vehicles or no any different kind of vehicles you will see in that region right so so the, these are the kind of the efforts that are taken from the government side and if you see the size market size then in 2019 uh, it was uh, around 1027 dollars market size of india and uh, and by 2025 it is expected to be 13832 uh, dollars right again which is growing at a different rate of 54.2 percent right let's move on next next step.
so again uh, that's about the market but now comes who are the key players okay that, that one thing you that is clear that uh, this is the market but now the second term second thing comes into the market the demand that who are the key players in the ev sector so here we have five different uh, categories that you see two wheeler category three wheeler category four wheeler buses and uh, high uh, delivery vehicles high uh, low delivery vehicles this kind of uh, uh, segments here see here you can see so in india the maximum or the uh, maximum number of sales or the maximum number of uh, uh, companies or you can you will see into the two wheeler segment because india is a kind of country where people used to prefer two wheelers more than the four wheelers right so in that case you will see that more than 50% of the ev market just in is just into the two wheeler segment like ampere ampere vehicles avon cycles hero electric cola electric ether pure ev tbs motors revolt so these are the all the renowned companies have already shifted to the two wheeler segment and if you see look into the three wheeler segment can anyone uh, guess where was the first three wheelers or three uh, three kind of three wheelers were launched in india any idea guys where were the first three uh, three wheelers or electric three wheelers were launched in india mumbai uh, any other guesses bangalore okay any further guesses well well you will be surprised to know that anyone from agra here anyone from agra near taj mahal so the first three wheelers or we can say the first uh, uh, it was made from because in when you were like in the a few years back you might have heard that uh, due to the pollution the taj mahal is lo uh, losing its uh, shine right the the kind of marbles that are used into the taj mahal it's losing its shine and it's becoming black due to the carbon content in the atmosphere right so the first kind uh, first three wheeler or the transport uh, we can say that transportable three, -wheel three wheelers or general three wheelers for the passenger we in the very passenger segment you will see that were launched in the up uh, that's also in the agra just to protect the uh, this taj mahal for its beautiful marbles right so again you will see a very different uh, like a different kind of uh, companies that are already working in three wheeler segment that is mahindra priago uh, eulers motors atul motors loia and uh, today we are already working on the like you will see there are a lot many research are going on evs but if you personally talk about the up up case so uh, the three wheelers that you see uh, in the three wheelers are already going into the scraps because they have already completed their life like 14 years or 15 years of the services they have already done already given their services so uh, if you just see the difference into the kind of three wheelers that are used into the uh, this uttar pradesh region or in the uttar pradesh side and the kind of three wheelers that are used in other uh, states that will be completely different right again into the case of four wheelers if you talk mahindra and mahindra Maruti Suzuki, Tata Motors, MG Motors are already. Maruti Suzuki, we can say that is just planning to launch their electric or or come into the shift into the electric vehicle segment, but uh, it's too late for like uh, currently for Maruti Maruti Suzuki to cope up with the other industries. So, how many of you are aware about this uh, Manisar plants of Maruti Suzuki? I hope everyone is aware here, right? So. again maruti suzuki has just not only the maruti suzuki maruti suzuki but all the other big big uh, renowned companies are already shutting down their uh, engine manufacturing department gearbox manufacturing department they are already shutting down so it's a big big challenge for the students or the professional those who are already working to make a shift to the ev that's why it becomes very very important for you to uh, provide a sustainable sustainable future to your family future of career to your for yourself also to uh, look into the ev and start making a career into or start uh, or start your career in right so in case of buses tata electric ashoka leland spark minda volvo mac so these are already working and if you see uh, recent news that it was that all uh, this 
uh, there is one company which is manufacturing the electric buses uh, that is i15 electra it's some it's somewhat like electra o l e t r a it is somewhat like that so it got more than 2500 orders of electric buses that means thousands of crores of investment in electric vehicle sector right i hope that information was helpful let's move on to the next slide so uh, uh, this is about the uh, ev sales in the financial year 2020 uh, 21 and the 2022 and if you see that uh, the total number of electric vehicles that was sold in all the segments two wheeler four three wheeler four wheeler was somewhere around 1 lakh 23915 uh, units and the maximum was two wheeler as i already said that uh, the kind of market that india is have having that two wheelers will be sold the maximum and that also the ola came into the market and launched its vehicle that was also a reason and uh, three wheeler again three wheelers is consistently uh, making a good sales into the market from the past many years like 5 to 6 years it is already consistently consistently performing well and in the four wheeler segment it is just uh, uh, like entering into the market from the past two years so compared to that 5700 units were sold and if we talk about the data of financial year 20 and 21 only few hundreds of electric vehicles were sold but uh, the, in case of four wheeler segment now if you see that it has increased to one up to the thousands in the coming uh, next years you will see it will go again into the multi uh, like multi or we can say in four digits or five digits it will go right and in case of commercial uh, it's 990 till Mar till march but after that march you will see that the government has already supplied more than 500 electric buses into the to the delhi government right have you heard it okay let's move on to the next so uh, i mean so we have lot of the lot about the evs right now we will segment or we will categorize the things here electric what are the components you will see that we will talk about later the architecture what are the of job opportunities in for it individual segment so the kind of uh, things that you will see the ev will have the motors batteries power electronics controllers charging stations so these are the main uh, components or the main uh, backbone of an ev so if you talk about the market uh, ratio or something uh, what by what is will be the financial uh, this say evaluation of these uh, sectors in ev elect electric motors you will see that uh, it is expected to grow about 1.23 billion just in the uh, back, uh, this motor so segment other same are available Others, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Of course. No, you are audible. Thank you. So, in case of electric uh, motors, you will see that it will go by grow by 1.2 billions in the coming uh, to 2025, and uh, the maximum research that is going on to the battery packs. In the coming times, you will see that India will start manufacturing their own batteries uh, in India itself. So, it is going to be expected to. be around 1.86 billion in by 2025 right so power electronics that is uh, about the semiconductors or the uh, silicon chips that are used into the electronics devices or the power devices that are used or plcs that are used so all these things that are if anybody is from here electronics department so you will see that all these things are related to your domain right and in expected to grow up to 1.7 billion uh, of the uh, evaluation right charging stations you will again see that it is going to be uh, expected to be around uh, some 50.33 billion so you will see that how these things are growing how these sectors are growing so here you see electric motors that is for electric vehicles or electric people and electrical uh, department right battery that is again coming for the coming from the uh, chemical energy chemical engineers chemical engineers or the chemical background right chemistry or background power electronics again electrical de electronics department right charging station yes, sorry hello yes 
So again, for the charging station, you will see the civil and uh, mechanical department will work together. And mechanical will definitely work, but in case of designs, and uh, generally in case of designs, they will be working very well in the coming times. Right. And uh, let's move on to the next slide. We will see the other important things. So you uh, guys are already aware that uh, uh, in the last uh, 2019 and 20, we all have faced a kind of electric power shortage, right? Uh, due to which uh, uh, long power cuts, we have faced the long power cuts at home. So that was because of the kind of uh, requirement that is for that is the kind of power is required for the charging of the electric vehicles. So in uh, last year, we had seen that it was uh, at, like it was somewhere around 856 crores of unit was short for. That's why we have seen. Uh, long, long power cuts in our homes, right? So that will be a kind of again a kind of a big challenge for us. And you will see the sales, or we will see the people will be uh, installing the power or this solar panels for charging stations at their homes for their personal usage, right? And uh, by 2030, you will see the it's expected or it's committed by the government that by 2030, around 30% uh, of the vehicles will be somewhere around that, uh, electric vehicles. Let's move on. So again, uh, this is the latest technology that is already people are working or the industries are working that is hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, right? And uh, currently uh, it is not that much uh, known to everyone. Hydrogen fuel cell is just uh, 651 million uh, that if you see the market, market uh, evaluation, so that was domain was only 651.2 millions in 2018, but now it has uh, grown. Like for up to 2026, it was expected that it will be around 42,000 and 38.9 millions, somewhere around uh, it will go billions, right? And it is also growing by a rate of 66.9 percent. So our uh, this transport minister, right, Nitin Gadkari ji, already uh, said that he is also traveling in a hydrogen fuel fuel car, right? Are you guys aware about this? Yeah, yeah, sure. So that's why he is also looking for promoting the uh, hydrogen fuels. Or we can say that he is also trying to develop the confidence in the population and this uh, uh, around the people of the country that you show your interest into the this domain also. Just to build, just to build their confidence for the people. He's all he's traveling to the hydrogen fuel sectors, right? But okay, the, yeah. the hydrogen fuel, it's not not feasible. Uh, currently, currently it is not that much feasible. But in the uh, the just like a few years back, uh, we were not that much able to charge or discharge the electric uh, sorry charge the electric batteries. Just like that, in the current yes, time. The, the secondly, the uh, cars that will come out in the market that would be much 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 uh, uh, higher than the electric vehicle. So it will be for that uh, random. Uh, segmentation of people, it will be not that effective on that in the next few years. It will take around next 10 to 15 years, then it will be feasible because um, the fossil fuel will be there for that market. Plus, we couldn't make yeah, it. I, yeah, I got your point, but uh, uh, the kind of see, this is the something that you are expecting or saying some from the kind of knowledge or the kind of uh, things that you are going through, right? But uh, the other, uh, we don't uh, we don't have any kind of such possibilities uh, currently as per your watching. But nobody knows what comes our way uh, during this coming year. So, but still the production of the hydrogen gases or uh, uh, extraction of hydrogen is uh, again a big challenge. But uh, companies are already working and industries are also working. And in the coming time, we will definitely see that need is the kind of, we can say the need is the one thing which uh, helps to the innovation, right? So once yeah. the hydrogen will be, it becomes a need, it will be abstracted and it will be supplied to the common people. Just like few years back, a uh, few decades back, we were using a small or Nokia for mobile phones. And as the need increases, right? Today we are using the smartphones and uh, again, with the help, with the uh, we, thanks to Geo that we got that uh, data packs that cheap, right? So it's about the demand and 
the company effort or the efforts of the people like you and me who is focusing or who is working on the growth for the week or growth of the industry right congratulations yeah. uh, thank you so much for the question but uh, request everyone to hold the questions till the end i know it can get a little bit enticing to not ask them in the week So we would highly appreciate it to save a lot of time. Thank you. Show me your weekend. Uh, let's move. On. Let's look into the challenges and opportunities for the EV industries. So the first thing uh, that I will uh, want you people to go through, uh, walk through it, is the architectures of a uh, kind of electric vehicles that battery electric vehicles have. So uh, here you will see that uh, earlier in the last week image, I just I would ask you to go to the last image. Others, please take us back to the last image, last last uh, present. Yeah, this one. So here we have uh, the architecture of BMW i8 model. So this is kind of a hybrid vehicle that you see. So here we have uh, in the front you will see that we have the engine. Rear to that we have the transmission, and uh, uh, in the back you will see a small battery packs are installed, and again some batteries are connected to the rear wheel to power the vehicle in hybrid mode. So uh, it will be operated on the engine as well as into the uh, this motor mode also, right? Uh, let's move on. Next slide. Yeah. So. Just to represent you, or you help out to understand what are the things uh, that our general electric vehicles look like. So here you will see some of the electrical component and the mechanical component. And uh, in the mechanical component, you will see only the two important two things. That is the, the single step gearbox and the differentials, right? And differentials are connected with the tires, right? And uh, electrical input, you will see that the throttle, controller, BMS, battery pack. So these are the main components of the. Uh, EV architecture and motor again electric motor is the most uh, like connecting medium between the uh, electrical input and the mechanical output. Let's move on. So in case of electric motors, uh, as we have seen the job of uh, like the kind of opportunities we have. So in case of electric motors, you will see uh, here is an exported view of the complete drive, rear drive line assembly. We can say because you will see the motor is here. The differential is here, and a single step gearbox is also there, and controller is there. So you can see that the kind of uh, this exploded view of a motor. So who will? What are the job opportunities in those domains? You will see the motor design engineer, uh, mechanical design engineer, which will be again motor design engineer from the electrical background. Motor manufacturing, which is again a big challenge for the in India India market. Again, motor testing engineers. So these are the kinds of the domains that you will find helpful into the electric market, electric mar motor market. Let's move on. So uh, after the power getting from the motor, again we need the transmission box. So here you will see some planetary gear arrange, gear box arrangement is used. It like some might not be aware about these things. But uh, it's only mechanical. Uh, like, Mechanical people might be aware. For other, it would be difficult. But here you will see the sun planet gear arrangement or single step gearbox arrangement is used here. Uh, input from the wires are given to the motor, and it is uh, a three phase induction uh, induction kind of motor is used. And the kind of uh, job profile that you will look for is the gearbox design, power chain integration, transmission design that includes other components too, power uh, power chain manufacturing. Whatever the designs you will see, again we will need people for. Uh, companies for manufacturing these things, right? Let's move on. So again, the most uh, efficient, or we can say, the or the component which is helpful, or which is responsible for making the motors efficient, is the controller, right? So here you will see that the power electronics engineers, how to distribute the power or how to power the motor. Uh, this will be our top role. Control system engineers. How to the switchings of the phases and all these things that will be used for, and uh, again uh, this Auto Star is then a uh, uh, soft software on which we use to work and PLC design engineer. So these are the uh, job domains that you will generally look for uh, this 
kind of jump down chop domains in this controller if you put it again this kind of the controller is the kali controller which is programmed with okay so that are the things that you will uh, walk through it or later on uh, then once you will be able to go through the controllers their usage and how they are helping the run the motors and have let's move on again the most complicated thing which is the arranging the battery packs and uh, generating the uh, power of we can say the providing the fuel to the electric vehicle that is the battery pack or the power unit so in that you will see the battery pack design which includes the thermal thermally stable battery pack design and everything and uh, cell selection and sorting again uh, again an important uh, format here which is for cell selection and sorting battery terminal system battery thermal systems pms design engineer power electronics engineer so i am tell again if you are designing or manufacturing the cells we will need the help of the chemical engineers to select the chemistries which is helpful for uh, manufacturing the different kind of cells lithium cells or uh, i think there's some more voice issue people on youtube you are complaining about a voice issue uh, don't ms teams do you are you facing any kind of voice issue because i'm not sanskar is there a voice issue are you observing any everything is all right <laughs> maybe some network issue from that side their side Let's continue. So here you will see the chemical engineers. They are the for the kind of chemistries that will be required to power the uh, supply the electrons. That will be again help uh, done by the chemical engineers. Battery testing, which is the most important for the safety features, as we have all come through different accidents or the news about the EVs and the field battery modification testing and all the other kind of stuff comes under that at all. Next. so this is about the kind of smart vehicle segment that is generally related to the fully autonomous vehicle right embedded uh, system engineers will be required for that uh, and uh, again uh, this is completely for uh, it domains and uh, this cs domain will come into play here and for the battery pack pms also the it and uh, this software uh, the people from cs background will also be helpful in that so this vehicle smart segment will be uh, again it is a far Uh, we can say for in, from the Indian point market set point of view, it is still uh, far far. Right. So here you will see AI programming, can communications, how to communicate uh, batteries, how we communicate with each other. So that is from under the can communication. Let's move on. So uh, what are the opportunities that you are getting uh, into the EV domain? That is tendency to uh, kind of these things. problems that you are generally face face is it is tendency to rest tendency to wait tendency to repeat past mistakes or not acquiring enough skills right so these are the problems that generally the most of the students face right so if you want to scale up uh, you need to get a skill right if you want to switch your career you need to do the some hard work and to switch yourself to uh, you have to come out of your comfort zone right so let's move on so these are the kind of opportunities uh, as you see that uh, electric vehicle market is already investing thousands and like, like thousands 90 almost 1 lakh crore is invested is about to be expected uh, invested in electric vehicle segments hero electricity hero electric uh, like planning to expand their units by 5 millions per year or in five uh, the total number of units will be sold will be around 5 million uh, units in 5 years they will be able, uh, targeting that Bajaj to invest 300 crores on new electric vehicle manufacturing plant in Pune, right? So next, uh, another coming opportunity is you can see that uh, government and other companies are already investing. Next slide, please. That was from the other domain, and here you will see that simple energy again coming into the two-wheeler segment. That that is a again. Uh, setting up and plants into the tamil nadu 2500 crores ev setup startup uh, hyundai is investing 4000 crores 
so that means that if the company is investing these much of amounts right so that means there are a requirement for, for the comp uh, there the people will be required some skilled people right uh, the people generally from the uh, engineering domain or from uh, like people having a basic idea of uh, ev software ev sector they are skilled about this so companies will require these kind of uh, inputs for the manufacturing of their ev stuff, right so let's see in the coming slides how we can help you what are the things that can help so what are the skills that will be required by automobile industry with respect to ev are that chemical engineers chemical understanding the chemical chemistries battery and dms who is having a understanding of batteries how to calculate the number of cells that will be used into the battery packs and uh, charging in product charging infrastructures will be required right software data integration electronics part material again this is the uh, one more one of the most uh, can say challenging part is the material selection because we will be required to reduce the overall mass of the vehicle so again material selection will be a challenging part here designing and integration safety homologation testing like that you will see again the new policies will are coming are coming every day into the ev domain that frame uh, fema which is responsible for developing of the uh, this standards for the testing of the vehicles they are already coming with thousands of uh, different policies for the uh, manufacturing of the tech or manufacturing of the electric vehicles let's move on to the next slide so uh, who are working inside the industry so before going to the industry you must be aware about uh, who are already working inside the uh, working in who are already working inside the you know automobile sector you will be able to go into the uh, design domain right uh, like engineer engineer uh, engineers are already working on different different types of design mechanical feasibility of the product uh, large scale production how to integrate the production or uh, to cope up with the demand of the uh, or we can say the customer demand of the product electrical power trains chemicals electronics electronic control units so these are the things that the world engineers are already working inside the uh, industries so if you are going uh, to join the ev industry so you will be somewhere see yourself in these domains on right let's move on to the next slide okay uh, again if we go much more specific uh, specification about this uh, opportunities so in two wheeler three wheeler and four wheeler fleet you will see yourself in leasing uh, that is uh, how whenever you are doing, uh, working into the electric vehicle so how you will uh, whenever you are purchasing what is the uh, that is the procedure so you will see another opportunity in that domain e buses intercity models specific ev uh, domains that you are working upon right battery cycling at home charging solar integration fuel cell optimization battery pack these are the things that have the specific opportunities where you can work speak okay. so this is about so this is this is about the people who are uh, trying to get into as a business into it right so apart from just from the uh, this Employment yeah. <laughs> point of view. If you want to make a business uh, into the electric vehicles, so these are the sectors where you can make the uh, business. That is EV charging stations, battery recycling business, battery swapping technology, solar electric vehicle charging, home charging station, EV components manufacturing, franchising and dealerships. These are the business opportunities for the people like me. Mm -hmm. If you are able to, uh, if you see someone is having the mindset of not working into the industry, so they can they can take up on. right so now comes about the uh, like challenging and advantages right so what are the challenges currently india is facing that is the lack of charging stations charge char challenges for the grid slides that uh, the power setting up the power stations the grid power is not that much lack of trained personals that is the biggest uh, problem of the current time which the industries is facing uncertain customer behavior if someone 
like this is the uh, we can say if something happens uh, wrong like the customers will be deviated from their path again the same policy as i already told that uh, uh, which is responsible for making the policies for the electric vehicles they are also rapidly changing rapidly changing some of the policies to make the components more safe and reliable for the customers right and uh, we have very limited uh, battery technologies to work upon so that is also a challenge but now if we talk about the advantages of electric vehicles that is when you are purchasing the electric vehicle the initial cost may be high but if you lost into the long run for 10 to 15 years it will cost you very very cheap right easier to maintenance you don't have the so many components to uh, maintenance for the vehicle the state ev policies clearance environment uh, like cleaner environment the environment where the evs will be used will not have that much the uh, air pollution or the noise pollution right let's move on so uh, so this is the biggest thing that the graduating student face that i already told you talked about the industry right so how many of you are from the uh, how many of you are from the students uh, background or you are already in the college i think most of you are in the college only right so this is the kind of challenge because the kind of education system that india is currently dealing with or currently going through is the kind of uh, if you see the kind of uh, topics that are uh, that are teach or taught into the colleges are somewhere related to the industry to industry 1 and industry 2.2.0 2.0 industry revolution one and industry if i specifically say for the mechanical engineers point of view that is uh, you are studying about the boilers right different different of uh, diesel cycles petrol cycle right carnot cycle auto cycle you guys are studying about this but if you talk about uh, industry industry is completely switching to the different things right industry is far away from these things uh, at present earlier the industries uh, early this were things were indicated with the college and the industry that uh, college will be teaching the professionals and industry will be hiring them so during these past few years your past few decades that gap has uh, become much 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 more wider uh, with the time now you see the industry that industry has gone too far that industry 4.0 had came right and uh, if you talk about the curriculum curriculum still we are learning about industry 2.0 topic and industry 3.0 topic about the boilers about the normal electric uh, normal petrol vehicle engines we are not learning about the advancement into the electric uh, this uh, petrol the engines these things are not taught in the college so how you will be able to overcome on these things they are you will face a lot of problems here that lock, uh, you have lack of specialization professional curriculum right like, uh, lack of skill based education that can provide entrepreneurs so one thing that once i uh, like i had taken the admission to the college that one thing i was having in mind that i will start my own startup i was from a mechanical background but what happened i was not getting that much exposure from my college or the atmosphere that was uh, that i was in so that uh, like throughout the time or throughout that journey it helped uh, it uh, like it it was a major or we can say it was the biggest problem for me to find out the solution for that so i can relate that same problem with the you guys also you guys have so many mind so many uh, concepts and ideas in your mind but you are not the college is not able to provide that much skills to you that you can work upon those things like no one will always going to tell you that you have to work upon the excels at advanced excels and excels into the industry nobody is working upon those things but uh, this is the thing that will be required into the industry and no one is teaching telling you when you are into graduation right nobody is going to tell you what is the kind of uh, softwares or the uh, mbd softwares so it is simple like do the graduation take the degree and leave the college it's more like that uh, the current education is right so just to help you out what we are doing uh, we are providing you some options here so i will ask uh, others to move on to next slide so what how you can overcome all these challenges right 
now that was the challenging i think uh, most of you can relate with that right so uh, most uh, like i think 95% of people like me have say face the same thing right so here we are coming uh, what we can do to overcome your overcome these challenges right so we are focused on a uh, more practical approach project based learning right what we are providing how we are giving the solutions right we believe to provide industry oriented curriculums to the fill that gap uh, there is a, like i said already told that gap between the industry and the education became too too much wide now you can't even jump from the college to the industry directly because if you even if you are able to place to the industries like uh, core industries and that is in ev and mechanical i don't want to say that most of the people are already aware that how much salary package that one is already getting inside the industries at current right if we could talk about the four companies so to uh, overcome those challenges we have already designed the industrial orientation curriculum and support with 300 industry professionals that means we have already discussed with the professionals from the industry what kind of uh, uh need what kind of uh, support they need from the college is and or from the uh, freshers like you so we have discussed them and then we have coming with some solutions right train the students on le uh, latest technology tools and machinery is an impact uh, like impart the right skill set very less very few people are aware about the cnc am coding gn coding and all those things so but these things are already requirement in the market so uh, one more thing just apart from these thing how many of you are uh, aware of this additive manufacturing which is the part of industry 4.0 how many of you are aware about it just raise your hands so industry 4.0 is something related uh, sorry additive manufacturing is somewhere related to the uh, this we can say the kind of 3d printing you have seen right now the in the coming time you will see that the uh, this manufacturing will be done with the help of 3d printer like we i have a uh, lots of uh, this examples for that that the first 3d printed uh, wrench was used in 2000 printed in 2014 that's also at the nasa uh, space plant or, or nasa space station in 2014 the first 3d printed uh, wrench was used there right and uh, again you will see a lot of different kinds of uh, viewed fun wonderful designs will be coming into the market with the help of uh, this additive manufacturing so the design the domain of the mechanical department will again have a potential in this domain in this sector in this region right so again uh, we are also providing uh, theoretical and practical model based learning so it is not just related to the uh, theoretical concept so once you will be learning the basics or the core concept you will be working upon some hands on uh, things right supporting ogt internship to impact impart industry skills that on job training we will be provide internships to impart skills sets that is required into the uh, industries so we have designed uh, thousands like we have designed uh, so many curriculums and uh, we have trained thousands of students just to bridge that gap that i already told you, right uh, let's move on to the next slide so uh, the kind of thing that i already explained you about what the solution is here right uh, we are providing you a course structure we are six month program where you can learn all these six as you can see we are already teaching you about the electric machine design and industry perspective we will be working upon uh, battery pack design and selection how to select the cell and how to make the battery pack how to do the thermal analysis how to do the how to select the bms kind of battery pack that you are going to design like how to do this uh, software simulation on these uh, uh, battery integration and everything Right. What is the control method? How these uh, electronics? Uh, if we talk about com uh, to the electronics, how these motors are going to uh, control? Uh, how we can control the speed of the motors? 
So that comes under your EV uh, con uh, control methods, right? Then again, the charging infrastructures that uh, from the business point of view, if you see, then it is going to be very, very helpful. Uh, again, from the knowledge point of view also, it is going to be very helpful. That if you are planning to start a business into the EV charging infrastructure and all this, you must be aware out of aware about the things, right? And how do the homologation and testing is done uh, for a complete vehicle and how to get the certification uh, from the uh, from the authorized centers to launch your vehicle into the into the market so these are the subjects that you are going to learn right uh, and that's also into the online mode you will be getting the uh, videos into your LMS right you will have you will be learning online and offline like you will be the uh, teach uh, getting these topics on the online mode and if you have any uh, doubt uh, we will have live query sessions right? and uh, during the six months you will be asked to do to do some kind of uh, projects works also that is uh, that could be a practical model or uh, you can say a working model right or a software simulation kind of project it could uh, it which could be related to the battery or pms right again okay. um, kind of uh, infrastructures the certification if we talk about globally valid you will be getting a globally valid certificate right uh, after the completion of this complete course you will be getting a certificate which is uh, certified by asdc automotive Vehicle development council of india right and uh, uh, like we talk about is specialized certification each subject that means you will be having more than six uh, that the subject that I already told you, these are the subjects, you will have a specialized certification in each subject plus a ASGC certified certificate. That means in total you will be getting six to seven types of different certificates during the six months. Right? And uh, after what is the benefit if we talk about? You will be uh, uh, like after the complete, uh, successful completion of the program, the participation will get 100% internships, OGT placement of opportunities in the industries. Right, and uh, automotive, EV industries and automotive, that is manufacturing services, sales, and other sectors, you will get a opportunity. Right. Uh, let's move on to the next slide. So, we have an another options also that we have another specialization programs also in EV design that is related, that is for the one month division. If someone wants to do the uh, this specialization in that so we have some basic concept of EP, uh, subjects like basic concept of EP, chassis and dynamics uh, like chassis and dynamics how to design the chassis and do the FE analysis on the steering and its mechanisms suspension brake dynamics uh, tire and fixed features so these are the individual programs on which you will be able to work upon right again the certifications are same let's move on to the next I hope others. Uh, I could, I have already covered the topics. So yeah. Uh, so this is the uh, this is the latest placements, or we can say the last place our alumni who have already uh, gone through us are uh, in, in working into the industry. That you can see, some is working, someone is working in the Bosch, someone is working in Electric, Speedways, Hitachi, Reliance. So. People are already working as a uh, as a designation post, right? As a decent post in this TV, in this TV segment. Let's move on. So, in the, uh, uh, like, what are whenever you are getting the certificates, ISI India is associated with uh, who are the industry partner. We have three industry partner that is Ansys, AMG, and Hero Electric, right? And uh, we talk about the certificate partner. We have. Uh, ASDC that is Automotive Skill Development Council and uh, the same uh, kind of programs are supported by SM, SM Society of Manufacturers of Electric Vehicles. So we have more than 300 uh, companies who are already associated with us across the country, right? So uh, here you can see we have uh, people uh, already working in the JBM Republic Motors, right? Mahindra, Hero Electric, Bosch. So they are already working in this, uh, these and all of these companies. 
Please. All right, sure. I think uh, that would be it for you for now. I'll take on the stage and we'll come back with the Q and A section in just five minutes again. All yeah. right, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Shivam. You may unmute or you may mute yourself. <coughs> All right. Uh, I hope everyone found the session super valuable. The webinar is uh, not at the end of it yet. We, we have something very special for you for all the people who stuck around. Um, why don't you all give me like a fire emoji in the chat if you can? That would be amazing just to see if everyone is uh, really hyped up and excited as much as I am. Just drop a drop a fire emoji if you can, or maybe your favorite emoji. Does not matter. And we'll move on. Cool. 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 Come on, guys, in the chat if you're in the teams or if you're on YouTube, just put up fire emoji. Ayush, awesome. Ayush is on fire right now. Great. Shut up. Let me show you what I actually mean, why I'm very excited right now. You'll see me in just a minute. You already had an interest in the EV sector, right? Now you have facts, you have knowledge. You actually sort of have an idea what goes behind the components of making an electric vehicle about the sector, about the business opportunity. I have something for you. Look at this. We have an announcement. I've already made it pretty clear. Our first advanced electric vehicle design course is out now. This is announcement number one. We've got two announcements for you. This is the first one. Our first advanced electric vehicle design course is out now. The second announcement being our professional master certification in EV course is out now too. So if you are just beginning, you may opt for this one. And if you are a working professional, you may opt for the professional master certification in EV course. Although it does not matter at which stage you are, you may opt for both of them. Let's go. This is not the surprise. This is not the surprise. Look at this. I'll tell you a bit about the master certification program again. Okay. So the master certification program is basically certified by ASBC, supported by SMEV, industry partner, MG Motors. Something which Shivam even mentioned about right now, a couple of minutes ago. About the advanced EV design program, here you will learn basic concepts of EV and HEV, chassis, dynamics, steering and its mechanisms, suspension, braking dynamics, tire and its features, basically all of the basic components simulating vehicle setup on MATLAB using powertrain block set accompanied with various recent case studies to attain the challenges set by the EV industry to so personalize industry mentorship, career guidance, career guidance and placement assistance, much more. What you will get? You will get personal mentorship, globally valid certificate and student support. Now all of us know what is the comparison between courses and cohorts. If you don't know what cohorts are, they basically work like an online class classroom, wherein there's a teacher, you have a whole group of students, and you progress through whatever you are studying by collaboration. So if there are 30 students, a teacher may assign groups of five, six people working together to solve one problem. Collaborative learning is the key to success now. Online courses, not so much. But you need community, that's what I'm saying, okay? So through personalized mentorship, you'll get mentored by experienced EV industry experts and receive personalized feedbacks and calls for better guidance. Second, you'll receive a global val globally valid certificate. So in this certificate, your entire workplace with confidence and assert yourself as a sub subject matter expert. Cool. Student support. Student support also available from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. via email or call and get us a response within two working hours. Isn't that crazy? Getting a response to your question in just two hours. Let's go. Program overview. I'm talking about the advanced vehicle design course, okay? 360 degree career support, no of TMI, job assistance with top OEMs, two plus case studies, 20 hours of learning, mini projects, free research publication, Globally valid certificates, sessions by industry experts, and much more. Getting all of these things, these are just the key highlights. Industry wide reputed certificate, I've already mentioned about it. Specialized advanced electric vehicle design certificate by ASDC. Complete all the courses successfully to obtain the certification from ASDC, globally recognized and recommended by 
SMEV, MSME, and 70 for sort of motive industries. How the course would work? Well, it will obviously get recorded videos, case studies to work on, and assessments to be checked. Free resource paper publication, and there's obviously going to be a feedback and interaction session. So, practical hands on activities and video lectures with interactive portal forum for discussion of students. Prompt feedback to every slight curiosity inquiry by instructor trainer are a part of this course. Basically, whatever recorded videos that you're watching, case studies that you're working on, or the assessments that you submit, you'll get a feedback and interaction session based on just those things. There will be a person one on one. Level. Program outcomes, how to do verification, validation, various case studies on different models, learning, leading about vehicle architecture, set up, block design, energy fellow EV, learn design and analysis of chassis, learn charging system and technologies and all of the other jazz. If I kept on saying whatever is written on the screen, it might take me a lot of time to get it complete. This is the amount of value that we're offering with the courses. All right, guys, let's play a quick game. I want you all to put down in the comments the price of the advanced EV design course. This is not the surprise. The surprise is going to shake you up, okay? Put down in the comment section the price of the advanced EV design course that you are thinking. You've got four options in front of you. One is 18 triple line, 95 double line, 25 double line, and 27 double line. Let's see what do people think of your. Uh, put your guess A, B, C, D. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Put your guess. Put your best guess in the comments. Okay, people are saying. We've got two words for B already. A, B, two words for C. C and D are basically playing on the same ground. Come on, guys. Put your best guess A, B, or C. Oh, God. So we've got E, C, and D with equal votes. Just one vote for A. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. I want you to put more comments. Let's see who wins. All right, we have all the four options with equal votes. Two votes for each option. A, again, we've got uh, A with the leading vote. Okay, let me just see the last vote and then I'll review the real price. A, all right, let's move on. It's A, it's 18 triple nine. 18,999 rupees for this particular course. I'm very excited to tell you that this is not the surprise. This is not at all the surprise. If you've stuck throughout the course, sorry, throughout this workshop, then we still have that surprise for you. It's going to save you a lot of things. Not just, but mental peace as well. All right, so whoever voted for A or thought of A was correct. The answer is 18 triple nine. Oh, oh my god, sorry. I want you all to, uh, if we, some of the people who were not watching it carefully, I think they got the answer. But I want you all to guess the price of the professional certification course. Let's go. You've got 60,000, you've got 65,000 rupees, 70,000 rupees, and 75,000 rupees. I want you all to guess the real price. Let's go, let's go, let's go. A, D, C, We've got A again. We've got B. Who is leading? A is leading. A, another A. All right, folks. A, A is leading. A is leading. I think it was because of the little glitch. Everybody saw. Everybody saw the real price. And yes, you're correct. It's A, 60,000 rupees. And I'm so glad to tell you that this is not the surprise that I wanted. You guys to see, this is not the surprise that you've been waiting for all along. Here is the surprise. Embrace yourself. If you feel like 18 triple nine is a lot of amount for you, or 60,000 rupees is a lot of amount for you, here is your gift for staying till the end of the workshop. We're giving away the advanced EV design course, which was priced at 18 triple nine at only 14 triple nine for the next one hour. You'll you'll see a link in MS Teams and on YouTube 
if you register for this particular course in the next one hour, you will receive it for 14 triple nine. Mind you, the actual value of the course is 18 triple nine, but you'll be getting it for 14 triple nine. Isn't that amazing? Just put a fire emoji in the chat if you think that the discount is really nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Put in a fire emoji if you think that this sitting through the workshop was actually worth it. You all took away so much value, so we want to provide even more value to you guys. For sticking through the workshop. Awesome. Come on, guys. All right. Let me take you to surprise number two. Oh my god, you put two surprises? Yes, you have two surprises. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So the course which was priced at 18 triple line is now worth at 14 triple line for the next one hour for all the folks who are interested to buy it for the next one hour you'll be getting it at a discounted price you'll be getting the link to buy it for the next one hour on ns teams on youtube and on whatsapp sanskar let's go let's uh, post the link right away now here's surprise number two we're giving away the professional master certification course priced at 60,000 rupees for 54,000 rupees and the amount of time that you have to make a decision to get it or not will be one whole day for 24 hours. We'll be dropping another link to buy this particular course. And you have the next one day, basically the next 24 hours to make up your mind and get this course at a discounted price at 54,000. A course at 60,000 is now worth at 54,000 only for the people who stayed till this point in the workshop. It's a very big value exchange. You gave us what we wanted, which was attention. Now we give you what you want, the discount. So we've got two courses, one priced at 18 triple nine, which we are giving, giving away for 14 triple nine only for the next one hour. And we've got the professional master certification course priced at 60,000 rupees, which we are giving away for 54,000 rupees. Validity for the link for the second course for the professional master certification is one day. Since it's a big amount, we're giving you one day, take full use of it. The links for both uh, the courses will be posted in MS Teams on YouTube and on the WhatsApp group as well. All right, all right. Are you all excited? Do you like the surprise? Let me see some comments over here at YouTube as well. Guys, come on. How do you like how do you like the surprise? Let me know in the comments. Let me know on YouTube. And let me know over here at MS Teams. Asim was pretty excited. Sikunal, Surya Prakash, Anish, Asim, Mohammed, Dotham, Deep Prakash. Awesome. Awesome. Cool guys. Now, now. Uh, we'll be posting names over here. Sanskar, can you hear me? Can you post the links, please? Sanskar. Yes, the links have been shared on the WhatsApp group, and here is the link as well. You can simply go to the website or directly pay through the Instagram yeah. link. I'll share it as well. Awesome, perfect. So they'll be redirected uh, to both the courses via one link only. You don't need to share two links, right? No, no, no. Cool, cool. Awesome, awesome. So guys, you know what to do. You know how to do it. Basically click on the link which is present on the WhatsApp group, on YouTube, uh, or even on NST. Now that the surprise is over, we're going to take you to the most crucial part of the workshop, which is the Q and a section i'm keeping the floor open for a q a section shivam will answer all of your questions uh please post your comments in the comments section and if you're not able to do it just say me and i will give you a chance to speak preferably post your post your questions in the comment section now whether it be on youtube or, or on ms teams Guys, post a question in the comment section, please.
I think uh, people are writing. If you want to speak up, just write me in the comments. Sorry, in the uh, chat. I'll give you a chance. Others, I think Deep Prakash already had uh, his question in prior to the session. Of, like, uh, like, what is the... Just speak it. Please suggest a domain for electric engineers in EV. I want to do a EV course. You need uh, your guidance. Which domain I should focus? Thanks. Please guide me at the end of the session. Okay, Deep. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask, how did you like? Uh, how was the session for you? Did you like it? Did it and did it add any information or knowledge to your knowledge? Okay. Now, if we talk about your answer, uh, the answer to your question. So, as you are doing already in the electrical, uh, working as an electrical engineer, you have multiple opportunities, right? As an electrical engineer, you can work into the power, uh, like charging station. Is a, you can work in this power uh, charging setup stations, right? That could be an opportunity for you. Again, from electrical, uh, if you have worked on the motors, right? Uh, electrical engineering, I think motors are already taught. So you can work upon the manufacturing and design of the motors from the electrical background, right? That's it. That is an another opportunity. Third thing, if you are a bit interested about the, how to control the motors, so then you can look into the controllers also. So you have three opportunities, like the charging stations, and uh, as a uh, this motor design engineer, and as a uh, controller to design the controller of the electric vehicles. So you will have these three of uh, like. And the opportunities in these three domains. And uh, if you want to do a course, then definitely uh, this course will help you out, pick out whatever the questions and the kind of experience that you need. So everything will be covered here, not only theoretically, but practically you will also be learning a lot of things. I hope I was able to answer your question. If you like, then just give a like in the comment chat box. Like. Okay, uh, Surya Prakash, uh, next question we have from the Surya Prakash. What are the skills required to get placed in EV sector? I am currently doing second year mechanical. Big, big, big challenge for the mechanical people right now, right? Because uh, the kind of uh, shifting that we already see, big mechanical sector is already suffering from a lot many things, right? So as you are in the second uh, year of your graduate, uh, your graduation, so definitely you can work upon the power transmission. First thing power transmission you can study on the motors you have to do some extra work like uh, and uh, you need an extra effort right because that thing will not be covered in your topic as from the mechanical domain i can understand that in the second year only you will be taught about the boilers and everything which will be not which you are not be going to which are not going to help you out in any of the industry currently right you will be studying boilers design machine design and all these components rac and everything so some will, most of the things will not be going to help you out in your career. So you can, this course will help, uh, will definitely help you out for the, uh, get uh, hands-on things into the like different, different things that you will study about the batteries, how these batteries work, charging and discharging of the batteries. Again, you will be learning about the uh, chemical composition of the cells. If you want to do the masters into the material science, material science selection, right? That is an, again, an opportunity here. And if you are interested in the design, you can work into the design code. Uh, like along with along with the courses, you will be able to. You have to work upon the softwares that will be uh, provided to you, that will be provided to you throughout the course. You will be learning. You will be uh, working upon the this design softwares, CAD, uh, CAD, this CAD softwares like SCADIA and to do the ergonomics things like SolidWorks to design the assemblies. So all these things you will be. Uh, learning all these things. Next, we have uh, Herman. Yeah. Questions from the Herman. Yeah. So, webinar was awesome. My question: What is the difference between 18k course and the 14k course? So, 18k course is basically yeah. for one month, which is a small specialized, which is a specialization in these domain. And if you talk about the 54k course, it will be provided to a master certification program that you have mastered all the things related to the EVs in each economics, like if you talk about motors, uh, controllers, battery, BMS, controlling methods, and these things are, you will be covering each and everything. And if you talk about uh, this uh, specialization courses, again, they are specialization from the uh, 
particular domain if you talk about the chassis design suspension design or uh, so they are quite different right if you are going if you want to go into the uh, this design development uh, of any in the design and development or r and d of the any company so you can go for this case like so if you want a deep understanding of the ev you can go for the or uh, this uh, master certification process i hope that was answer to your question yes we harshali uh, sorry uh, it's the harish ji mehta right so do you provide placement guidance in both of the courses yes we will definitely be if you are we will be provided with the definition uh, this from placement assistant right uh, okay it is in professional course having both course it is in professional course so you okay uh, i think uh, that some from amol i so now what I didn't get your question. Basically, uh, not in both course. It's in professional course. So, can you please just elaborate your question? Right. If you talk about Rahul Prakash, while making battery, there is a pollution. Uh, pollution more than combustion engines. What's happening? So, basically, if we talk about the chemical extractions, uh, whenever these materials are abstracted from the natural resources, definitely it is going to be some. Uh, different kind of chemical reactions are going to happen and which is uh, a bit dangerous but it's already things are uh, work companies are or industries are already working to reduce those kind of risk which are which are associated with the manufacturing of the factories right i am a automobile engineer a daa with 30 34 years of working experience in automobile sector lastly worked with xtide industries by limited So, sir, I didn't get your question. That was your from the professional background. That what you are doing, right? So, any other yeah. question? Guys, if you have more questions, just drop them. Otherwise, we'll just end the session in a couple of minutes. By six forty-five, we'll end the session. Do you have any other questions? Even if you want to speak up, I would encourage you to do that. Hmm. All right, guys. We'll wait for like one more minute till six for you. If you don't drop your questions, I think uh, we'll bring the session to an end. And obviously, you have your uh, particular links uh, in the MS Teams window chat on YouTube and in the WhatsApp group. Oh, okay. Trishi has a question. Okay, Hari, uh, Harish Ji, right? So please talk more about the professional courses. I think I have already given you the brief about the what are the things that you are going to learn about the courses uh, that you will be learning, and uh, you will be special getting specialization in each and every topics that are into related to the EV, whether it is motors or whether it is related to the battery pack. Again, battery pack have one more thing that is the BMS and the battery thermal management system. Right, which is uh, the most challenging. And if you see, the batteries that are designed uh, are basically for a particular kind of uh, reason. If you see the kind, the batteries that are designed for the European countries, those batteries, if we are uh, working on those batteries into the Indian uh, region, so there will be some environmental or we can say geographical uh, impact on the batteries because the temperature that is there into the uh, European countries and the temperature kind that difference the temperature difference that is in Indian in Indian market is very different. If you talk about the North India, the temperature generally goes up to uh, like three or four degree, and uh, if we talk about the temperature into the Rajasthan and the lower part of the country, it's somewhere close to around fifty or forty-eight something. Right. So that is a big story. Uh, you will be learning all these things. Yes. Sir, is it live classes or pre-recorded videos in course? Ah, uh, you will be getting live lecture as uh, live assistants for whatever the for and the courses that you are getting. You are getting the recorded videos, and you will be having uh, live query sessions that we that the mentors will guide you throughout. Whatever the problems you will have, mentors will guide you uh, to sort out your problems. Right. 
ओके सर थैंक यू I completed an MB in IIT. I am working on security service while uh, adding my EV skills. With these courses, can more LPA uh, with uh, can more LPA can find finding other jobs. Rahul Prakash. Yes, definitely. Uh, during uh, during these courses, you will be taking get better opportunities, and if your LPA will be definitely much more higher than the current year you are working for. any other question guys all right it's close to 45 645 we'll be closing the session now if you have any question any last minute things yet that uh, you want to ask let's go guys harman you want to ask something or you do yourself sir i want for some detail in 18 ke course and 54 ke course can we get a, a certificate in one month course uh yes you are getting the course certificate in all the courses but the uh, value of or the courses that you are getting that certificate will be valid for that particular course okay All right, people. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of you will be on the mailing list. If you have any kind of questions, you can write to this particular email ID, uh, which is already mentioned in the email list regarding any kind of help that you'll be needing. Which is, uh, let me confirm it once again. I think it's. Um, <laughs> just give me 30 seconds i'll confirm it right away i think it is h e sanskar what was that particular email can you give me the name of the email where they can write it's already mentioned it. I mentioned it in the chat. Uh, it was hello at the rate loosu.com. That's always hello. Yeah. If you have any queries, you can uh, mail it to us at hello at loosu.com or sanskar at loosu.com. Definitely hello at loosu. But yeah, guys, I think uh, that's the end of the session. Shivam Singh, Tomur sir, thank you so much for uh, coming along. We'll be closing everything now. Thank you for your uh, value and your time that you gave over for the past two hours. Uh, thank you others for inviting me and uh, getting a uh, uh, like i always love to talk to the young minds of india okay. uh, the youth so uh, i hope i would be able to motivate some of the students to make a good career opportunity in the economy right okay. uh, i would like to thank you once again for this opportunity to connect with the youth thank you others and uh, those who keep completely that's all from my side All wish you for all the best for all the people those who have joined the session today. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Wish you all the best as well. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Good session.